Aries, hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. He's over at 7D. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, let's dive right in and see what messages Spirit has for you. Coming forward first is the Six of Wands, universe validating that you are on the path to victory and success. Keep going. Don't look back. No, right now is the time more than ever to dial into your intuition, baby, because your intuition is always going to guide you. And if you're not used to using your intuition, a few simple practices in the morning is going to connect you with your higher self to allow you to dial into that GPS system uh, more profoundly. So, journaling, positive aspects, not journaling like my day went like this, this happened, it sucked, nothing negative. It's all got to stay positive because if we stay within a positive energy, then our vibration stays higher. It's always about having fun fun. If we're not having fun and feeling passionate and feeling good, then we dip. And when we dip, we start to see things from a lower level. When we see things from a lower level, we lose our sense of magic. We lose our sense of self even more. And then we need to really take some time for introspection. So right now, more than ever, follow that intuition and recognize that you're a creator. You're a healer. You're a creative. So bring fun into your situation, whether this be a work situation, whether this be a relationship, bring fun into it, bring humor into it, bring uh, joy into this. You know, life is not meant to be lived seriously. When we're, living, when we're living life too seriously, that's when we know something's got to give. And just know that whenever we are taking ourselves too seriously, it's time to go and do something that snaps us out of it. And a lot of the times that's something that brings us a lot of passion and a lot of joy, something that we would naturally gravitate towards anyways. And just go do it like an autopiloted thing. Like, you know, you're not going to feel like doing it and it's not going to feel you're not going to feel motivated to do it but it's one of those things where you just go and do it anyway like a discipline right we don't want to do it but we do it anyway you go do it now, this could be something from the means of clearing energy uh, in terms of exercise, maybe some breath work, uh, balancing our chakras. Uh, but there's got to be an action taken because anytime we're in the process of trying to figure out what to do next, it's just because we're sitting there in our own thoughts too much. And in order for you to tap into who you really are, which is the creative, which is the healer that you are, know that it, we have to take come from a place of feeling balanced and grounded to feel that. But a lot of the times, if we're too stimulated from the world, caffeine, sugar, people, environments, right? Traffic. We're too stimulated. We're too pumped up. You know what I mean? That's why exercise and movement or being in nature is a big one, right? And because universe is saying, go with the flow here right now, Aries, you've got nothing you need to do. All you have to do is simply let your heart command the way. But if you're not in, if you're not in alignment with who you really are, your higher self, then your mind is going to take over and you're not going to be able to go with the flow because you're going to feel out of alignment, which feels very unnerving. And then what's going to happen is you're going to take action to try to compensate for that unnerving feeling. You see, so you'll take action, but it won't be the right kind of action. It will be more of a fear-based action, trying to get yourself ahead more or seek more money or seek more love, you know, try trying to do something. But all you have to do right now is surrender and let the universe guide you forward because the universe is guiding you to a new chapter. It's one that's going to bring a lot more enlightenment and a more awareness to your life, something that's going to lead you to your true spiritual leadership role here in this on this planet. And it's going and, and again, a spiritual role comes in many different uh, costumes. So whatever resonates with you, but just know as an empath, you are a spiritual leader based upon who your who your true spirit is. OK, this ain't your first rodeo Aries. All right. You've done this before. And just know that through all the wisdom and experiences you've gained in your past lives now is being implemented here in this life. And in order to figure out again what that is and what that means for you you really want to make sure that you're not trying to force anything and you're just simply allowing the universe to come to you also remember that in order for us to connect to our higher self and our true wisdom of our spirit we got to make sure that we take time with ourselves and that's why having that morning uh, spiritual practice implemented is great and i say morning because when the rest of the world is sleeping the energy is very calm right and so when the energy is calm you can almost hear yourself think in a, in a way it's going to be what it feels like, but really what it is, is you can really hear your intuition or your guides and angels. And remember your guides and angels sound like your voice in your head 
right? So you're going to be like, is this me? Is this my guides and angels? But you'll know. You'll know it's going to be them. You'll just have this feeling. Just know that right now you are, again, leading, uh, excuse me, well, yeah, leading, leading yourself to a uh, path of a lot of stability, okay, with this four of wands. Um, right now, what needs to happen, though, is find balance in your life, okay? Find more balance. And again, balance will come from really figuring out, okay, am I putting too much energy into, um, am I seeking this now? I'm putting too much energy in trying to make this happen, you know? Really feel when something happens, when the energy shifts. Like, there's only so much you're going to be able to put, like, there's only so much meditation you'll do before you're like, okay, I don't feel like it's necessarily supporting anymore. Same with your work life. Same with exercise. Same with eating. Like, there's a point where you eat and then you're like, okay, this is no longer this food is no longer serving me anymore I'm going to stop eating now right same thing with everything in life find where that trigger point is for you where you're like okay I'm good I'm done your intuition usually kicks in mine's like stop mine literally says stop to me um or sometimes it's my guides and angels because we all love food on this planet let's be honest right so listen for that voice and listen to it everything in life is going to your, your guides and angels are always going to alert you but unless you're listening you won't listen, you won't hear it. You know what I mean? Your mind will be too active. So now more than ever is the time to recognize there are going to be challenges coming up. There are going to be obstacles. Utilize these obstacles as a way to remind yourself of what you do not want. Don't attach to them. Okay, here are obstacles, here are challenges, no problem. How do we get through them? How do we fix them? The more obstacles and challenges you have in your life, the more of a uh, evolution you're going to have. Hmm, <laughs> right? So the, to a degree, the more you have, the stronger, you, you know, your guides and angels are training you for what comes next. And what comes next is glorious, right? Because again, you gotta go through that, you gotta beat that last boss of the video game and it's the hardest one before you can get to the good, the next level, right? And that next level is even sweeter. There's more, you know, badges to win and coins to collect, you know what I mean? So just know that when you are going through a process or a time where there seems to be extra obstacles and challenges, you're beating that last boss, okay? Come from a perspective of, I can do this, I got this, I am a warrior here, I'm a spirit, uh, uh, I'm, my spirit is strong, you know what I mean? I'm not going to succumb to this fear, I'm not going to feed my fear, I'm going to push through this and I'm going to make sure that I always come from a place of having a stable energy, uh, strategizing where I need to. Make sure you strategize, right? Strategizing is important, especially for us empaths. We can't walk into a situation without any level of, of, of strategizing or, or commanding our energy, right? It just doesn't work like that. Otherwise, we're going to be lost in the energies of the world. <laughs> that was intuition card, my favorite card, right? Make sure that you are commanding yourself because when you have a commanding uh, presence of your energy, your intuition will kick in and you will be, you will accept it. If you're not certain of who you are, Aries, then when your intuition comes in with a download or a request or what should happen, you're going to be like, uh, maybe, I don't know, or it could be this. You know what I mean? And you're not gonna trust yourself. So command your space. It doesn't matter if you're walking into uh, the library. It doesn't matter if you're walking to a school, college, university, even better, right? There's more people, a grocery store, uh, anything, a work environment, any, before, before you walk in anywhere, empaths, you must command your energy, right? So. Who do you want to be? Are you a leader? Are you somebody that is a, um, um, a you know, a, a strong communicator? Who are you? Who do you want to be? I should say that, right? Who do you aspire to be? Like, who do you? How do you see yourself? But sometimes, that version of you that you that you feel gets lost among the energy of the crowd. Then, before you walk into that crowd command that energy. I am a strong empath. I am a, a strong leader. I am, um, uh, um, uh, I have strong intuition. I command my energy. I command my energy. Higher self, I command you to lead me this day. You know, find a mantra that works for you. And that way you say that before you walk into any crowd. And that's always going to just give you that ability to have that control so that when your intuition does pop in, you're like, okay, yeah, let's do that. That makes sense to me. I resonate with that because you're going to trust yourself. You're not going to second guess yourself. And that is going to allow your heart to always be open to receiving because it does feel like right now, Aries, there is something big among the on the horizon for you here. Again, with that six of wands and that four of wands, right now you're on the right track. You're building that stability, okay? Just pick up all the lessons you can and make sure that you're following that intuition by being certain about who you are so that you are open to receiving everything from the universe. Because again, when you're certain about who you are, universe is certain about what to give you. 
If you don't know who you are and you don't know what you want, then the universe is like, well, we want to give you everything, Aries, but we don't know what you want. What do you want? You want this, and then one day you want that, and then one day you want this, and then one day you don't want anything, and then one day you want everything. I don't know, right? So get clear about who you are and what you want most. And, you know, there is going to be a, a it, it's sort of like one chapter at a time, you know, one level at a time, one level of the video game, you're going to want this specific goal. Then when you get this goal, you're going to want the next goal. So just keep your eye on the prize and don't lose track of it. That's why write it down if you can um, have a mental note, but just anything that keeps it in there so that, you know, you don't lose track. Because again, it's a it's a it's a very stimulating world. It's very easy for us to lose track of what it is we actually want, and who it is we actually are. So having that spiritual practice, writing things down, this really helps implement that. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Aries. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.